work with you and let's be honest I waffle on so 15 questions a story about each one might be a long vlog I'll try and keep it short and sweet though so number one talk about a time you lied to your parent well to be honest I lied a few times first one was about smoking I lied that I wasn't second one I lied that I wasn't skipping school but then she come home early one day and caught me on the park done move since we lived across the road from the park and I probably lied a few times when me and my brothers were fighting and I've said it's all his fault that's probably the main one number two that time you stole something Um. I think um, you know I should have thought about these questions first shouldn't I um, probably penny sweets because when I was a kid all, all the sweets were a penny that's why they were called penny sweets not now five or ten pence each um, so you get to choose your own and you just put them in the bag and then you went to the counter and they'd just say how much and you'd say like ten pence or twenty pence or whatever and they never checked and counted on themselves so I'd put a few few extra in a couple of times yeah I know I shouldn't have Um, number three a confrontation you had with a teacher Um, probably getting caught smoking at school it was break and we was like all hiding behind the the shed and the teacher come and I was too busy talking everyone had put quickly hit it behind the back and that but yeah he said I could see the smoke coming from above the building I was like oops got kicked out of school for a week for that and then my mum had to come into school and sign a contract to say I won't smoke at school again um, number four the best gift ever Um, I think the best gift I ever got was when I was 14 I think I was Um, for Christmas my mum got me a TV video combo and it was the best present I ever got I absolutely loved it I still had it no joke I still had it when I met George, I was still using it. <laughs> he kind of laughed at me, but it lasted. I wasn't going to throw some it away that it wasn't broke. Um, number five, a time you tricked a sibling. I don't think I ever played tricks on my brother, to be honest. I'm not a person that does tricks so I haven't got a story for that one Um, number six your boyfriend slash girlfriend cheated Um, that would be my first proper boyfriend he was called Barry Um, I was in the last year at school well, the last couple of months of school before I left and we've been together a while we got engaged and then one day he got my friend to give me a letter and when I opened it it was a letter saying that he's sorry but he's been cheating on me and been sleeping with this girl behind my back 
So yeah, didn't trust men after that for a while. Um, number seven, that time you broke up with a good friend. Oh. That would have to be when I was sorting my wedding out. Um, I got Emily to be my maid of honour and I asked my other friend to be a bridesmaid and when it was getting close to the wedding and I'd been texting her and messaging her and, and that and I wasn't getting anything and then I kept saying we need to sort you out a dress and and I didn't get nothing for a few months so I sent her a text saying that because you haven't been in touch the dresses for everyone else had been made it had been that long you can't be my bridesmaid anymore because there wasn't enough time um, and then she got back to me saying that I'd been busy working and that and I, I just kept forgetting and I thought no and then I said are you still coming now because I need to get the seat in for the, the sit down meals and she said back saying no I'm not coming and I don't want to talk to you anymore so we still not spoke since. I, I sent her a Christmas card a few years in a row but never got nothing back so I thought I can't bother anymore. Number eight, a time you embarrassed yourself playing sports. Um, I don't know if they have it at school now. But when I was at school, I was at an old girls school and your PE kit was a t-shirt and knicker shorts. Which wasn't shorts at all, it was a pair of knickers but which was just thicker and a bit bigger. And then you had a skirt for, um, for other things if you were, if you were playing outside or something and it was colder but um, I used to wear my knicker shorts under my skirt as well because the skirts were dead short as well I hated it and I, I was so embarrassed just wearing a pair of knickers doing sports with my fat legs and everything oh god it was horrible uh, and one day I forgot my knicker shorts and I had to just put my skirt on and um, was doing the pole vault, I think it was, in the hall. So there was like, oh, you take your skirt off. You, we're not using skirts. We're inside. And I was like, I can't. I got my knicker shorts. And I went, okay then. And was pole vaulting, and, and with pole vaulting. Well, my skirt just come up over my head, didn't it? The button burst. So you can just imagine me in my little knickers, skirt on the floor. So embarrassing. I'm glad it was an all girls school though. Glad there was no boys there. That would have been even worse. I mean, it was bad enough. I wouldn't get changed because it was just one changing room with a bench around the room so you had to get naked anyway because you had to have a shower before you got dressed so I suppose that's even more embarrassing number nine a story about how you got your pet uh, well I've already made a video on Lucy so I'll put that link in the description and um, but before we got Lucy, oh excuse me, 
before we got Lucy, uh, we had two Chinese dwarf hamsters, and they were dead cute. I mean, me and George had gone in to the pet shop just to get some fish food because George had a tropical tank and these little two Chinese dwarf hamsters was in a cage saying up for adoption because nobody wanted them and I was like oh they're so cute can we get them and he was like you're going to get bored with them in two weeks and I said oh please 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 and he got me them and the um, cage and all that sort of food and everything and had them about six months and then we got Lucy and then I kind of got bored of the hamsters yeah I kind of forgot about them George ended up feeding them and that because I just got to winter Lucy so we gave them away to a good home Uh, number 10, a holiday catastrophe. Well, I wouldn't say this was a catastrophe. I'd say it was more embarrassing. When I was three, we used to go on holiday with my mum, my nan and granddad um, every year to Scarborough that stay at the Blue Dolphin ho uh, holiday park thing and one year this was a no yeah I think this was the first time we'd gone away my little brother was about six months old and my dad come with us and that's the first and only holidays I've been on with us because he didn't like me nana and my nana doesn't like my dad um, so my dad used to, when we went away on holiday, my dad used to go away fishing holiday with his mates. So anyway, mum was in like the big pool with my brother, holding my brother. I was in the baby pool with my auntie because my auntie's only four years older than me. So I, uh, she was in the kids pool with me and I had my little armbands on and and everything and I remember just like lying on my belly and trying to swim and my head went under and I got really scared and I thought I was going to die and I was kicking I can remember kicking my legs but I couldn't get my head up I couldn't like turn turn over so I was stood up and I finally got got up and I was crying and my mum had seen and come over and she said are you okay and I went no she went why I said I pooed myself I know I bet you're laughing now I laugh at it now but at the time it was so embarrassing and my mum said right come on let's get you out of the pool past my brother to my dad and I stood up from the pool and no joke I must have had a massive poo because my costume was just hanging to my knees nearly and I had to walk like John Wayne like I'd just been off a donkey and oh, I was so embarrassed everyone was just laughing me toddling along with this saggy swimsuit oh. I've got a um, DVD my dad did for me actually, well he put the video on a DVD because he, he recorded it on a camcorder, not that, I think he took that embarrassing bit out when he gave me the DVD because it just got me playing in the pool, but I think it's, it's boxed away with my wedding stuff, my wedding dress in the attic because I was going to put that on, on YouTube but Number 11, that time you tried out for something. Um, God, I tried out for everything. Um, I was in, when I was 
at primary school I was in the netball team and the rugby team then when I went to high school I was in the football team um, I did, wasn't very good at it so I ended up leaving and I went and tried out for the tennis team I was in the tennis team or tennis club whatever I was in the badminton club I was in aerobics class um, then that was it then that was all of them tennis, football, aerobics, badminton I tried out for the trampoline but I was scared of heights lasted about five minutes if that number 12 something that happened while camping Um, when I was 16, 17, I could have been 17 yeah, I might have been 17 and me and my friend a husband, a brother, his girlfriend and one of our other friends we all went camping <clears throat> um, to Wales I think it was can't remember whereabouts and we just had there was like all six of us just had a load of fun and one night it rained and a brother and his girlfriend had the wrong tent and then her a husband me and the other friend shared the the big family tent <clears throat> and me and a friend was staying in one compartment and it rained one night and i woke up and i was absolutely freezing and i wondered why and then I thought, I feel a bit wet here. So I sat up and the whole, we must have been on a hill, but the whole bottom of the tent from my feet up to about my shin was just water and I was absolutely soaking and freezing. And for some reason, even though my friend was staying, sleeping right next to me, her side wasn't wet. And I was like, how's that happened? Um, that's the only, I only went camping once. I uh, went, th there was a theme park. It was, it was a brilliant time. Number 13, a vacation mishap. Um, nothing else has really happened when we've been away. Except for our honeymoon. George got food poisoning spent half of our week laid up and then it cost us a hundred quid for him to get a shot in the arse <laughs> uh, that was funny he was like I'm dying I want to go home with my mum and I was like I'm hungry I'll see you later <laughs> and I went to the pub across the road and had dinner and that blessing I did stay with him the rest of the time, it was only when I was hungry. Um, number 14, the day that everything went wrong. Um, I had bad days, but nothing that's actually gone wrong. Just like bad, bad days with depression and stuff. But I've never had a day go wrong. Number fifteen, a time you were surprised. Now, usually married people could say, "When I got engaged." Yeah, man wasn't a surprise. So that's not one. I think I haven't really been surprised. Oh, 
uh, my auntie Teresa and Uncle Barry, um, the really big football fans, and they live in Birmingham, and they go to every single match. And Birmingham was playing Sunderland, I think, or Newcastle, one of the two. And on the way home, they come and surprised me in the flat. They come and had a cup of tea and that on the way home. So that was nice. That was a nice surprise. The other time, actually, I have been surprised again, was my mum. Um, I say erm a lot, don't I? I really apologise. I just can't stop it. There was once I was, I think I was making a Sunday dinner and my me, me mum phoned and she was asking how I was not and I said, oh fine. She says, can you do me a favour? So I was like, yeah. She was, can you come and pick me up? And I, and I went, oh, we haven't got the money to, to drive down there and come and get you. And she went, no, I'm at the train station. I've just got into Newcastle. And I was so surprised. Oh, so happy. Um, but that was the last question. And I will tag Nina. I'll put the link in the description. And I'll see you all later. Bye.